Sorry. The Phillip Island Historic Classic is Australia's largest historic motorsport event. The curtain raiser to the Australian Grand Prix at Albert Park, the event attracts a wide variety of cars from classic Grand Prix cars to the popular touring cars. The 2017 edition attracted one of the last great front-engine Grand Prix cars, the 1959 Scarab of Julian Bronson. It's a 19, 1959 Scarab. It was uh, really the, the, the last front-engine Grand Prix car and America's first Grand Prix car. So, but it was too late, you know, they were far too late with the front engine, they should have gone rear-engined. There is a Cooper T53, which they were, they, they killed the front engine Grand Prix cars. But this one is one of three. Uh, Lance Reventlow, the only son of Barbara Hutton, he built three cars, three Grand Prix cars. This is the third one, which was the spare. Never actually used in period, and it spent virtually all its life in the Donington Museum. So chassis one, um, that was Lance Reventlow's car. That was used regularly up until the, the 60s. And uh, that is now in America in a museum. Chassis 2 was destroyed at Silverstone in 1661. So at the moment, this is the only one, the only real one racing. Well, when they came out, they were, they were Offenhauser engines. They had Desmodromic valve gear. Desmodromic is like a Ducati where the valve opens and closes. And they were just... They weren't developed enough, and they wasted a lot of money. And in 61, they went really reverted to the Offenhauser engine, just straight Offenhauser, which is what this one uses. So this is two and a half litre Offenhauser, um, producing about 240, well this one is 245 horsepower, 195 foot-pounds of torque. So not quite, quite as much as the Climax, but more revs available. and. Fingers crossed, quite a strong engine. So uh, it's got a, it's a very heavy car. It's got a Corvette gearbox. It's got a Halibran rear end, which has got different drop gears so you can change the ratios. But it's a, it, it's a, it's a one of the quickest front engine Grand Prix cars now. You know, I race against the Ferraris and the Maseratis, and we we would beat them nine times out of ten. It's a very fast circuit, and this is where the car really scores. So, uh, big, fast, sweeping corners where this car's really good. It loses out on traction to a rear engine car, but on the really, really high speed stuff, that's where it's pretty good. So, the minute we get back from England, uh, sorry, from Australia, the cars will stop for about two weeks, race checked, and then we're off to Most in the Czech Republic, and then we go to. Uh, Dijon, Manicore, Silverstone, uh, all over Europe racing. This will, this will stand on its own against any of the European circuits. Grand Prix circuit needs to be a bit wider, but no, 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 fabulous, really good and fast.